There's like a little bump right there. You see that? Focus. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Quick update, right? So I've been doing my skincare journey and uh, it's been weird. It's been weird. So first of all, I started this about a month ago, like in July. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. I started my skincare journey, journey in early July. Having a blast, as soon as I started, my product came in for the kojic acid uh, stuff that I got from UAD8. Uda, Ueda, Ueda, Jada, Ueda. Anyway, I got my products from there a little while ago and everything, and I've been trying them out. I've been using them consistently. Uh, a washer in the day. There's a, there's this guy who was talking about um, don't use a cleanser in the in, in like in the day. The, in the morning and wash your face at night. I understand that, but it's like telling me don't take a shower every day. I can't just, I <clears throat> I take two to three of the mugs. I take about two to three showers and actually me to just wash my face once a day is just ungodly. I have to have cleanness in my life. It's in, rooted in me, it's ingrained in me to be this clean. It smelled as good. Mm, it smells so good. Anyway, I decided to not listen to that guy and I decided to wash my face in the morning and also in the night to keep myself consistent and make sure that I'm also going to be getting results. However, mosquitoes is a thing in the South. And as soon as you step your butt outside, they may take you away like that. It's been a, it's been a fight, it's been an uphill battle and I've been doing my best, okay? I've been doing my best, <laughs> but it's hard. Mostly because they keep biting me in the face. As you can see, there's like a little bump right there. You see that? Focus. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> At the camera. You see that right there? There's a bump right there. Um, hyperpigmentation. I also got like two more bumps right there. I don't know if it's from cheese because I'm lactose intolerant and I also do work out a little bit. I don't know if I've been getting stick acne from dairy products, which I, I rarely touch dairy. Macaroni and cheese, which I love, but I know that I can't touch it too much because I may get cystic acne from eating too much cheese. So I've kind of cut that out of my diet and it's mostly been fruit, water, chickens, turkeys, and a couple nuts and berries. I'm keeping things really healthy here. Don't judge me or do, but I've been having a really good time and I've been doing my face wash every single day and I've, I kind of put my CeraVive, maybe I'll insert CeraVive here. Uh, CeraVive, I've even put her off to the side, like she's my side chick in the shower. I just like put her right there and she's just there. Maybe I use a couple drops here and there. I don't know, in case maybe I get bored or just, you know, tired, you know, she's there, just there. Um, But for the most part, I've been using the Ueda products and I like them. I use the uh, the Kojic Acid Serum along with the Hyaluronic Acid Spray. The, Re the Fountain of Youth one, <laughs> I remember that. Not only has it been the Fountain of Youth one that I've been using, I've been using the Vitamin B Cream, I believe it's called the Vitamin B Cream, and the Vitamin E Serum. Fantastic products, absolutely fantastic. And they're by a black creator. And you know how I feel about black owned businesses. <laughs> Maybe you don't, but I just love to shop black business. I pretty much shop black business like all the time. It's so much I actually got rid of my Amazon Prime thing after eight years. I'll let you know how that went. It's quite great. But I'll get into it a little bit more detail later on. End of the video, I think. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> but it's been going great for the most part. Higher pigmentation, um, it could use a little bit more. The reason you see much this whole darkness right here is because I have to shave again. I also have to go to the chop shop and make sure that my barber, uh, uh, you know, lines you up a little bit more, you know. I've been using a lot of hair growth products as well. Maybe that doesn't help either. I've been doing quite a bit of things to help unclog my pores. I do a walk every single day for an hour down the road. Um, that also detox my body and I also drink a whole bunch of water when I can. I mean, it kind of gets boring at work drinking a whole bunch of water cause I have to go back and forth to the bathroom and everything make sure I don't, you know, overdo it. But you know, it's, it, it's what happens, you know, it's what it is. Um, but I've been staying hydrated. I've been doing the whole entire nine in my morning routine, my night routine, and make sure I get everything in between. Done. Yeah. But ultimately, like, and it takes time. It takes time. And the results are pending. Um, I even have another mark right here, as you can see right there. I think it's my, uh, what you call them, dang? A mosquito. A mosquito had bit me. And um, it's clearing up a little bit. So I'm also going by this as well. So Koji Gats is supposed to get rid of dark marks. And I'm making sure that at least the product that I paid $114 for is pretty good. I don't mind spending a hundred something dollars because like literally like this thing right here was almost a hundred dollars. In fact, I'm about to get a Sashomaru one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to get one of those. And maybe another One Piece one. They got some pretty cool stuff out there. Shout out to the TikTok shop. Really doing its thing. Making me spend money. But ultimately getting a whole bunch of stuff. Back to my point. The skin has been in a different state. I didn't expect to get acne at my age. But maybe it's from the cheese. I'm not gonna overreact and say something else, which 
Are you okay, Gizmo? Which it could just be maybe the stuff clogging my pores or what have you. But for the most part, the journey is going pretty well. It's not bad. I wish the results were better though. But I guess clearing up years, maybe a decade of hyperpigmentation may take time, I guess. But I'm still going strong, making sure that I do my part. And if I don't stay consistent, then I won't see the results that I'm looking for, which is getting rid of my hyperpigmentation and there weren't any blemishes. Cause I'll be using black soap. I'll be using African black soap. And maybe I should go back to that and using the other cleanser just to simply get rid of the dark marks that may be there. Maybe. But it's neither here nor there, as I said before. But I will stay true to myself. I will stay consistent. I'm going to get rid of the hyperpigmentation. I mean, but, but if not, then it's okay. It's not like it really bothered me or the fact that I have a couple blemishes on the side of my face or whatever. It's okay. I'm not particularly vain. I mean, we all have vanity. Of course we do. You and I both know we have vanity, but I keep it in check. I do by looking in the mirror every day. <laughs> I mean, I got to. I got to make sure I look clean and all that kind of stuff, but nothing too crazy or whatever, you know, nothing to self-absorbed. I'm not a self-absorbed person, very kind and generous. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to give you a little quick update about the skin journey. It's going okay. Um, results are still pending. Got a little bit of acne on the way, whether it was from my uh, foods that I've eaten. Also, on the 4th of July, we had a little bit of a party. Dude came over, right? <laughs> Let me get to a little story before I go. All right, so this dude came over to my cousin's house. Um, we were all just having a pretty good time and everything. All my cousins was there, my auntie was there, mom was there, uh, my dad was there, he came in a little bit late, nieces and nephews were all there, right? Uh, my cousin had brought her man, she was like, this is my husband, or my husband-to-be, and we're like, okay, okay, all right, I'll see you, Christy. Uh, granted, um, he was oddly, oddly in the food, like, oh my gosh, what is all this? This is an incredible spread. Who are all these people? They're so beautiful. I'm like, okay, this is kind of interesting right here. You're weird. You're a little weirdo, aren't you? But anyway, fast forward. Cousin got a pool, right? Everybody out there at the pool and whatnot. Little sis out there, perfect cousin out there, mom out there in the pool. And here he come, we're gonna call him Darrell. Darrell come over here, hugging up on everybody. He just had like about this much liquor. Do you see? This much, that much, not this, not a whole thing of Crown Royal, this much. Now here he is acting a fool. Just hugging up on everybody. He's like, yeah, man, we family. We got together. I'm like, okay. Okay, Darrell. All right. I don't know who in the world you are. You came over with my cousin, Christy. You, I don't know. We fast forward to about an hour later. Big Quentin, my cousin, is all up in his face. And he be, and he's, oh my gosh, it's a fly in my room. And he's like, yo, man, I'm fair, man. I'm he's like, hold on. Basically, he's like, yeah, gang affiliations and everything. He's going to send somebody over there to come and get him. Basically, he walked himself into our house. Basically, him alone. And all my cousins was about to jump him in that instant by him saying he about to send somebody over here and ruin our 4th of July party. We just had a 4th of July party because we like the party. It wasn't simply because uh, we just party just a party, okay? Let's get that straight, okay? It was just a party. It wasn't for anything else. It's just a 4th of July party. We celebrate Juneteenth over here. Anyway, he was about to get himself jumped in a horrible way. He had to go ahead. He had to sit himself down rethink his life and then we exited him out the house before any blood was spilled in fact he had got my uh cousin jaleesa's husband her man in a tizzy because like his name is ryan oh excuse me a little bit gasp anyway yeah ryan was uh was definitely he didn't know me he was about to jump he was about to pounce and 2.3 seconds he kept talking my cousin trevin was about to put all stop my mud hole in him and couldn't i was afraid he was about to throw him over the house <laughs> But um, we convinced him to leave and get to stepping before we put a mud hole up in here. Uh, put a mole up in him, mud hole up in him, and about 13 plus foot holes across his face. But that was a time. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> oh, my auntie's still talking about it to this very day. In fact, cousins, if y'all are watching this, why was AT Merlin there, huh? Hey, Merlin, I ain't seen you in a good while. Your grandchildren was over there, but you were nowhere to be seen. Nidra, Erica, where were you? Huh? It would have been nice to see your faces. Maybe y'all are working, I don't know. <laughs> but still, it would have been nice to see y'all. Y'all were not accounted for. Also, Lil Quinn, where were you at too? Maybe you were out of state. Sean Sean, you could have came over too. Jaleesa was there. Anyway, it was about my skincare journey. I hope I gave, I hope you enjoyed the little story. We had a good time. Everybody was swimming, uh, a whole bunch of food and all that kind of stuff. I got off my diet for a little while and ate a whole bunch of food like I did when I was like 17. It was a good time. Grandma, where you at, huh? Where were you at? You could have shown up to the party too. You could, you can leave Spooky. We don't, we don't like to speak of him very much. So anyway, uh, 
thank you for watching the video. Uh, um, hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making it. If you see this shirt, um, you can definitely know that I've made other videos in this right here because it's super comfy and I had to batch content. So anyway, loves, I'll catch you later. This was fun. Okay, all right, later.